Everybody wants in on Groundhog Day, and so do we. That's why we're proud to introduce Sunny, the SUNY ESF Groundhog. Isn't he cute? Cute, but not very talkative. He told me earlier he saw his shadow, and he's heading back into his burrow, which means six more weeks of winter for the rest of us. Sunny is hibernating, and when hibernating, a woodchuck's heartbeat slows from the usual 80 beats per minute to only four or five. Body temperature drops from 98 degrees Fahrenheit to as low as 38 degrees, and the incisors, remember a woodchuck is a rodent, stop growing. Other true hibernators include the jumping mouse, little brown bat, eastern chipmunk, and some species of ground squirrels. Skunks, raccoons, and opossums sleep during the winter, but their bodies don't undergo changes as drastic as true hibernators. They wake up much easier and can take advantage of warm spells to go in search of food. How does Sunny, the SUNY ESF groundhog, know when to hibernate? Hibernation is tied to changes in temperature, the length of day, and food availability, as groundhogs are herbivores and the plants they eat aren't available during the winter. HIT, or hormone induction trigger, is a protein found in the blood of hibernating animals that also plays a role. We don't understand exactly how it works, but HIT appears to lower metabolic rates, acting like an opiate, and it also helps protect heart cells. Medical researchers are looking at HIT as a way to extend organ life for transplants and protecting the human heart during heart attacks. Groundhogs can be found all over New York State. They mainly feed early in the morning and during the evenings, and their abundance in rural and suburban areas make them an easy way to enjoy nature in your backyard.